Hello, everyone. I'm Brother Howard, and welcome to Mass Media and Society Communication 140, the online section for fall of 2012. The goal today is to take you through the syllabus and to show you what we're going to be doing in the class so you'll be familiar with it and you'll know what to do once uh, you log into I Learn Brain Honey right here. So that's the most important thing is to log in and of course I'm going to send out an email and you probably have received it or you checked into class because you're savvy at this stuff and you know how to get to the online classes. Either way, once you're here, this is what it looks like. Communication 140, again, it's Brother Howard and I'm going to go over the syllabus and some of the basics so you can know exactly what to do. One of the things I've done with this class is try to make it so it's very predictable, so you know what to do each week, so you're not confused at all. And hopefully it's uh, fun as well. I enjoy it. It's one of my favorite classes. So let's look over the syllabus quickly. You'll see here's the title of it, and here's my contact information with my email and my phone number. Important, you uh, can email me. I have a policy. I will get back to you within 24 hours. I'm not always sitting right here at my desk. I do a lot of other classes as well. But I will get back to you within 24 hours, except on the weekends, because I have a lot of things going on with church and other things. So if you email me late Friday night, I may not get back to you until Monday morning. Okay, so just so you know that. Our textbook is uh, Media Essentials, A Brief Introduction. It's uh, inexpensive and available. You can find it just about any place. You will need to purchase it, so make sure you get that as soon as you can. Uh, we have quizzes from every chapter in the book, and it's a pretty good book, short and sweet, and uh, gives us some basis of things to talk about. Uh, the book does have a website. I don't use it, uh, but I put it there as a reference to you. And we do have a few other readings as a sign for some other things. Uh, you will need to have uh, a word processor like Microsoft Word or OpenOffice. Just a word of warning, please don't submit some uh, oddball word processing documents. Generally, if they're either a Microsoft Office document or a uh, OpenOffice, I can use those. But there's sometimes there's some other ones that I get and I just don't have uh, something to open those up. So please use one of those too. And, uh, and we'll go over that as well. But uh, for the most part, I'll just have you copy and paste stuff and uh, put it into the text boxes that are provided by iLearn. Uh, we will have a lot of videos like this one. You will need a QuickTime player on your computer. You might need to update your browser or your uh, software. So check on that. If it doesn't play correctly, send me an email or check and make sure that your QuickTime player is updated or that your browser is updated. And uh, I recommend Firefox. It works pretty well. But most other browsers work quite well. If you are having a problem, though, and you're in like Internet Explorer or maybe Chrome, maybe give uh, Firefox a shot and uh, see what happens there. Uh, here's the basics uh, thing you'll see there, uh, course and goal objectives. And I won't go over those because you could read those. And uh, if you have questions, oh, please let me know. And you'll see over here, as you look down, you've got grades and all the different things that are required in the class. We've got seminars, quizzes, projects, uh, a couple of review exams, some blog entries, uh, peer teaching presentations, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is go over those things and give you the kind of the overview of the first couple of weeks of class so you know what's going on. So over here on the left, you'll see the schedule. And here's how it works. I schedule it from Monday to Monday. So our week starts on uh, ends on a Monday night at midnight and starts on a Tuesday, basically. But I usually have all the assignments up and ready for you, sometimes a couple of weeks in advance. And you can work ahead, and that's just fine. Uh, one thing I would like you to do is always keep current in our discussion boards, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And so you're not uh, posting in there two or three weeks in advance and then uh, never reading you know, what uh, people actually respond to you. So if you like here, see week number one starts on September 10th and runs through the 17th. And we have got some assignments you'll see there. I want you to re review the syllabus. Also to read chapter one in our textbook. There's a quiz for chapter one. All our quizzes are open book. Uh, and uh, so make sure you got your book open. I suggest that you read through the, the chapter first, then take the quiz. You can try to do it at the same time. Sometimes it can take you twice as long. And uh, uh, so decide how you want to do it, however you want to do it, just as long as you go through the, and take the quizzes and read the chapters. The main goal is, is that I have you take quizzes so that you look through the chapters and get some information that's there. Also, I'll have you introduce yourself in the discussion board, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute if you haven't done that already. And you look through ahead to week number two and week number three. I do have a Twitter account set up, and uh, if you want to follow me, you can just click on follow. And generally, I tweet about things that are mass media related, things like uh, the Super Bowl ads that are already sold, 90% sold out, things like that. And uh, if you want to, that's not a requirement, but it's certainly up to you. And I also have a video here that's the course introduction, which you're watching right now. So we won't take much time on that. So let's go right into week number one. Now, I will tell you this, uh, sometimes when you click on the videos, depending on where you're at in your apartment or home, depending on the internet connection, it may take a, a 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds for the video to load and to start playing. So be patient. Some of you on faster internet connections or faster computers, it might start immediately. So uh, 
be a little patient uh, the first time you get on there, and then you'll kind of get used to the speed at which it works. So under each week, I have week number one, September 10th through 17th. I have a little page that says lesson preparation, and that gives you an overview. It's the exact same information you'll find on the calendar, and it tells you what's going to be due that week. Then under the assignments menu is where you'll turn in all the assignments and get the information for each individual assignment. So for week number one, I created a, a brief bio of me. Actually, uh, it's a little bit dated now. I may need to make a new one. I made it about a year, year and a half ago, so I need to make a new one with all the new excitements. Actually, there's nothing really new and exciting in my life, so maybe I should just leave it as it is because, I, uh, you know, as I age, my hair probably looks darker in the older bio, so I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I have seminars for each chapter. I will be doing some live ones this semester. I have some pre-recorded ones as well. So as I click on it, you'll see it will pop up here in just a second. And there I am talking to myself. And uh, I give you a brief overview between 5, 10, maybe as long as 15 minutes, usually not any longer than that, where I go over the basics of the chapter, uh, set up a little bit of discussion so I can talk it over and uh, give you an idea of what to look for as you read through the chapter. So those are the seminars, and I have fun doing those and, and uh, explaining what's going on. Here are the introductions for this week. These are the discussion boards. If you haven't done these before, they're very simple. I have a couple of requirements. First, I want you to post one original post. And in this case, it's a, an introduction, so that's gonna be really easy. You want, I want you to tell a little bit about yourself, and I have yet to put my introduction in here, and I'll do that and uh, give you an idea about me. Of course, you probably already watched the video bio, so you probably know all about me more than you ever wanted to know. Uh, I'd like you to tell a little bit uh, about where you're from. This is a media class, so tell us about your favorite media, what you like to do, any information you'd like to share with your classmates, just like you would in a, in a regular classroom. And then what I'd like you to do is respond to at least three others. And so that could be you see somebody who uh, is from your same area, you can say hi and uh, you know talk a little bit. For this assignment and this particular one for introductions, uh, it's pretty easy. But I'll tell you what I expect for other discussion boards uh, down the road. But please introduce yourself. You certainly can talk to more than three people. You can lead five or ten posts as much as you want. But I require you to do at least three so we get to know each other a little bit better. Also, here's the chapter one quiz. These are, again, multiple choice open book. So once it opens up, you click on the start button and it will open up and uh, you can only take it once. Uh, generally, it's not timed and so you can be on there for a considerable amount of time. But be careful. If you're on too long, sometimes you get kicked off the server. That's usually like several hours. So just be wary. If you do run into a problem, you get kicked off, email me, email me immediately and I'll get back to you and see if we can't get it straightened out and see if we can't make sure that you can get in and take that quiz. Okay, so they're multiple choice open book. Again, some are a little bit easier than others. Uh, some are really obvious. You see the exact answer in the book. Some you're going to have to think a little bit based on what you've read. But for the most part, they're, they're multiple choice. You know, they are what they are. So that's week number one. Uh, week number two is just a little bit different because I add a couple of things that we don't do in week number one because usually you have a lot of people adding and dropping at the beginning of the semester and I don't want to leave anybody behind in that first week. So for week number two, we're going to read from chapter 15. We're skipping ahead to 15 because it talks about media effects and I really want to get into that at the beginning of our discussion for this semester instead of at the very end. So read chapter 15. We'll be a little bit out of order. We'll take a quiz also. And then we get into our discussion board and our projects. So let me show you what those are. Um, Discussion board for chapter 15. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, what that is. And uh, we talk about TV content and should it be regulated. And there's some discussion in the book of whether or not that should be the case. And I want you to think about it and read through this and see if you think that, uh, you know, should we or should we not be regulating, uh, more regulating TV content than it already is. And I uh, give you some clips to look at that you can check those out. And uh, well, again, what I like you to do is have one original post. So you read through, you uh, decide kind of what your opinion is, you post that, and then uh, I want you to respond to at least three other posts. And one key element here is that if you wait until just before the due date, no one will ever respond to you because, of course, everyone's uh, trying to get in their posts and responses during the week. So good idea is to post early, and those who post early generally get lots of responses and uh, kind of set the tone for the discussion. So be aware of that. And, uh, you know, of course, sometimes schedules are what they are and you can't get in any earlier. But do your best to get in early and it makes it a lot more fun. And uh, you get to see what other people have to say. And it's nice to have this kind of discussion. One thing I really like about this is that everybody gets to participate and, and speak. And in a regular classroom, you know, we just don't have time to do that. So this gives you a chance to do that and read other people's opinion. Again, there's the quiz for Chapter 15, open book uh, quiz. Uh, so you already know about those. Just make sure you're ready to take it before you click on it because once you click the start button, you can't get out and it will automatically give you a zero. So you don't want to do that. 
Projects. I've created a series of what I call projects, things that uh, we can do that are kind of hands-on as much as I can, you know, I can get. So for this one, I'm going to have you uh, do two things. You're going to take a media literacy quiz. Again, this really isn't graded. It's uh, PBS created this. And the reason I have you take it isn't so much that uh, you can see what the score is, although it's kind of fun to see. But uh, I want you to see what the people who made this, what their take is on what media literacy is. And you'll find that maybe you don't really agree with what they think media literacy is, and that's okay. But the interesting thing is some of the questions that they come up with. Of course, you won't get all the answers correctly. Um, the other thing that I would like you to do on this one is go to another website that is sponsored by Cable in the Classroom. Now, this is primarily designed for people who are teaching um, uh, junior high, high school, elementary age students. But, uh, of course, that could be you in a year or two. And so what I'd like you to do is check it out. And there's some resources there that kind of define what media literacy is, give you an idea about it. And then we can discuss what media literacy is uh, in based on um, uh, what you've read. And so basically what I have you do is, is write up just a, a short paper. And uh, I'm going to have you copy and paste it into the, the box here. So you'll see the directions, and uh, I have you do four things. Give me your quiz score. Give me one question from the quiz that surprised or interested you. Tell me about your media literacy strengths based on how you understand them after the readings, and tell me your weaknesses based on how you understand them. Go ahead and copy and paste that into this uh, box down below. Now, I will give you one piece of advice. Uh, type everything on your own computer and save it on your own computer then copy and paste it into the text box here on, on the Brain Honey iLearn and then submit it. Because every once in a while it does weird things and I've had people submit projects or assignments and they're all garbled or there's nothing there. And so I uh, send them an email and say, hey, could you resend that to me? And lo and behold, they didn't save it on their own computer. So it's just gone. And sometimes it's just too big of a pain and they never redo it. Um, so save it on your own computer. Then you've always got a copy. Then if something happens, all you have to do is send it on to me and uh, it makes life a lot easier that way for you and you're you know assured that your stuff is saved. Now I have one uh, fun project that I really like to do. I call them blog entries. And so one of the course uh, goals of the course is to become more media literate, which again we'll talk about in uh, the first couple of chapters here. So I want you to observe the media around you. Now there are no really specific things that you have to post in here, but generally what people do is, gosh, you know, as we start discussing things in class, they start noticing more media around them. And maybe you make an observation about you know, the billboards you suddenly start to see that you really didn't notice before and you make an observation. Uh, also a lot of people end up uh, posting links to websites or uh, videos that are related to what we're talking about and uh, I, I like to do that too so I usually post uh, every week as well and give you uh, something that I'm thinking about or something that I've seen and uh, you know one of the things that uh, makes me laugh is every year about this time I usually go to a football game I'm a BYU football fan and I just laugh to see how uh, much television influences the length of a game because of ESPN broadcasting the games there's a little guy who runs out and uh, tells the officials when they can or can't start the game because he's connected directly through headsets up to uh, the folks who are broadcasting the game. So they don't want anybody to miss anything, so uh, they wait for the commercials to get over before they can start the game. So it makes for a lot of standing around in football games, but that's just one mass media observation of how the media that kind of has an impact on something as, as, uh, like college football. So that's week number two. You'll see week number three and a lot of the same things. I won't go over those because, the, you know, the projects change from week to week. But you get the basic idea of, of what I would like you to do. And so you can look those over. And uh, also I'll go back to the syllabus here just real quickly. And uh, as we go down here, then I'm uh, going to just check and make sure that I haven't missed anything. Oh, yes, uh, extra credit. Uh, you can run up to 50 points and you can look that over. Again, that's uh, totally extra you don't have to do that if you don't want to but sometimes you mess up on something you want to do something extra and we will have some peer teaching presentations i'll give you more explanation about that later but uh know that it's there and uh and that's a lot of fun that you'll be able to share some stuff with others kind of like i'm doing right here with screen capture software and i think you'll enjoy that as well okay i think that about does it so the only thing i have left to do here is i'm going to look over here at the uh, discussion boards if you've never done this before it's very easy all you need to do is click on the new thread and go ahead and write something in there. No, just know, just know that your first line is going to be the headline or the subject, just like it would be in an email. And what do you leave after that, of course? You can type up as much as you want. Uh, I think sometimes it will let you attach photos and things if you'd like to do that. And it's certainly up to you. And uh, once you're done, just go ahead and click on Post. And it'll go ahead and post it. Double check and make sure that it posted. Sometimes weird things happen. And then, of course, if you want to respond to someone, you'll see a little reply button underneath uh, someone's post. Just click on the reply button and you can reply to whatever they say. 
So uh, a lot of fun, really easy to do. If you have any questions, let me know. But I think uh, most of you will pick it up real quickly. A lot of you have already done this a lot. So this is old news, I'm telling you. Uh, lastly, just say, good to have you here in class. The Mass Media Online is a lot of fun. I always have folks from all over the country, sometimes the world, who are in the class. And it's nice to interact with you. Great to have the opportunity to help folks out. Also, we're off track, maybe doing internships. Even if you're on track here on campus, it's nice to have that flexibility in your schedule. And uh, I like to do it this way because then I can still get to know you a little bit. And, uh, you know, I have a lot of people recognize me from this class. And uh, I only see those little itty bitty pictures of you in the, in the, in the, uh, uh, what, just like you, you see on the course directories or online directory. So sometimes I won't recognize you uh, if you stop and say hi. But please, if you see me and you're here on campus and want to say hi, please do. It's always nice to see the folks that are in class face to face. All right. It's been good to talk with you. I hope to see you in the discussions boards very soon.